third and final Brawl deck of the day. I promise we'll be back with more new ones tomorrow, but for today, we're closing out with the Benthic Druid here. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, gain a life, a draw card. And boy golly, do we have a lot of ways to ramp. So we've got Reclaimers and Grazers and Broken Bonds and Druid Classes and Explorers and Into the Norths and lots of artifact mana. And then we've got a lot of bomb diggities. We've got Hydroid Crisis and Endraise Forge Runners, Crater Hoof Behemoth, Cavaliers, Vivians, Nissas, just the whole the whole nine yards here. So let's go ahead and dive on into some games with this and uh, see how our ramp deck does today. Ooh. This hand looks great. Skyblade, that's not what we've seen yet. Is the Brawl event free? It is free. Oh, you know what? There should probably be one of each non-snow basic in this deck because we have a field of the dead. It's probably a reasonable thing to be doing. Oh, is there not a snow dual land in here? Okay, I just assumed they put all the duels in here. But yeah, we'll, we'll go back and make sure we add a bunch of dual lands. The person that sent it in must have missed those. There should definitely be one of each dual land in our Field of the Dead deck. Yeah, we'll just we'll just pull up the list of duels and put put all of them in there. Hello there. I can take so much. Mm. Well, maybe I should have played her to start. Yeah, I think I should have played her before I played my land for the turn. They're not quite at plus seven, but they're getting close. Man, do I need to do I need to kill this before it starts making angels? I think I do. That's kind of sad. Drawing cards with her next turn. Yeah, I really should have played her last turn. is four flying creatures so if they double spell next turn they can play this out it's a little scary too compass flips over which is nice we have one two three four five six differently named lands so if i would have if i would have had a regular forest to get my field of the dead would be turned on right now but it's not because we didn't and this is, these little things are things that, as we play more of this format, I'm going to get a better feel for 
needing to spot check these types of things out of decks people submit me. Tome of Legends. Whenever your commander enters the battlefield attacks, put a page counter. Remove a page counter, draw a card. Sure. I don't actually know how we're winning at the moment. So I've got um, Maze of Ith here to make this stay at home. But I can't actually really attack through this just yet. Yeah, we have something like Mass Manipulation. Um, we have Vivian in our deck too that can shoot this down. Yeah, yeah, there's so many slots in these decks that it's just like, it takes a while to get all of them correct. Yeah, spreading these counters out makes a lot of sense. Oh wait, this one wasn't flying. Well, they punted and I messed up. Yikes. I just assumed they were only attacking with flyers. Okay. Our deck's definitely doing what it wants to be doing in this game. Alright, so I get to find utility lands here if I wanted. Token that's a copy target creature you control, except it gets a plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, that sounds kind of sweet. You have no maximum hand size! I don't know if that's the correct play, but that one's definitely the sweet play. Or is there not a temple in this deck either? Yeah, we definitely gotta fix up our mana base here a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Was there a temple? Where? It's the far left? Okay. I believe you, but I also don't have time to double check at the moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. All right, how many mana do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh man, we're one short of doing this and this this turn. That's gotta be lethal though anyways, right? I imagine, I imagine this is lethal. Goodbye, friends. <laughs> hey, so it's so is lethal. That was a little bit lethal. Hey, right, let's still clean up some of the mana. So I want one of these. I don't think I want a full split on the basics because we do have... Um, we do have a Faceless Haven in the mana base that I want to be able to activate with some consistently, but I think one of each so we can search up when we have Field of whatever is correct. Oh, what's the... Is it Hydra? Is that the one I'm thinking of? The green... Yeah, we want an Ovenwald Hydra in here to find Field more consistently, right? I don't think I want to play Golos because I think Golos is kind of sweaty. In fact, I think I'm going to cut the mass manipulation because like Agent of Treachery, I think mass manipulation is kind of sweaty and icky. Those are, those are cards I just don't really want to play because I think they make the game less fun. Oh, you can't play Golos. Right. Good call. Any utility lands or dual lands that we missed? We have a we have a crisis. We got we got that one covered. Balaged recovery is pretty good. It's probably worth playing. Florahedra might be worth playing too, actually. We're working our way over to the snow duel moment. Oh, did it put a non-foil Thornwood Falls in my deck? It did. Magic Arena. I paid for a foil. Put the foil in my deck, Magic Arena. Oh, Blast Zone... I think Blast Zone's better than this, uh... Oh, whatever. Dungeon's Descent. Is Uro banned? Oh, I think Uro is legal, right? Oh, he's totes legal. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think this one's fine in here. I'll play, I'll play, I'll play an Uro. Mm, we could play Crucible. We have Evolving Wilds and Fabled Passage. And Field and Ghost Quarter. I need to cut some cards down. I have, I have a growth spiral. Yeah, double major doesn't seem very good. Oh yeah, harvest is great. I like, I like that suggestion.
Verdant. I don't know what Verdant Mastery does. Oh, I like Verdant Mastery. Now Verdant Mastery is good. We could play. You could play the the other the other four mana four mana ramp spells that like cycle and stuff. Like migration migration path is fine. This is 106 cards now. Honestly, is it crazy to cut some of these like mana rocks since we care about specifically lands entering? Like maybe we'll keep Arcane Signet, but like what if I cut like Mindstone and Cold Steel Heart? Or like maybe some of the, the creature based ramp? How many lands? We're up to 46 lands. Yeah, that's true. We're not attacking with this very often. Some Wayward Sword Tooth. We had some other better cards. This card seems kind of funny in this archetype. Reclaimer seems kind of weak. I guess it like sits there and activates with this to draw cards in the late, in the late game. Here to the Turtle. Thanks for the 14 months. Is Awakening legal? Yeah, Sylvan Awakening's not on this platform, right? Oh, it finds Field of the Dead. Yeah, good call. Once upon a time is legal in this format. Oh, I oh wait, hold on. I had my filters on still. There's Sylvan Awakening. All right, up to 104 cards now. Chat, there's just too many things. Why are there so many things? Oko is not legal. This is the opposite of what we were supposed to be doing. Chat, I need to cut four cards. All right, so I added some lands. Maybe I can go down a land. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut one land. Is guys being a bad? We're having a lot of lands enter. I'm gonna misclick with this card frequently, so let's cut it. All right, then we'll cut the grazer. All right, good, let's do it. Let's play some games. I feel like we could sit here forever in the deck editor, so I want to try and not spend too too much time doing that. There's a lot of a lot of little things you can do in a lot of these decks, though. Things that people miss and good suggestions. We're doing good, Nova Chip. We got the historic brawl cube back. It's our third third one of these decks so far today. Been a lot, been a lot of sweet things going on. Love it. Goose into the north, turn three Tatiova if we draw an untapped land in our first two draws. Excuse me, Mr. Mark the Shark. We won with 300 points of damage. Thank you very much. Don't you belittle how much damage our Crater Hoof Behemoth did. Oh, you know what card I just realized isn't in this deck that definitely needs to be chat? There's no primal command in this deck. I was just thinking Crater Hoof was sweet and it would be great if we could tutor it on occasion. Primal command's legal in this format. Peace was never an option for this goose chat. We wait to tattoo of it till next turn. Yeah, 
concede it's not worth winning without the command. All right, somebody figure out what card we can cut for Primal Command while I'm playing this game, so I don't have to think about it. Look at, look at the deck list on Untapped and figure it out for us. Yes, in general, waiting to play this so you could play a land right after is ideal. Drop Kolga! No, Kolga's one of the gas things we want to be searching for in occasion. So, Yarok is legal in this format, but for the most part, I'm going to be sticking to one and two color commanders because three plus color commanders end up in the, tri in the try hard bracket more consistently. Our opponent's also doing some ramping. Well, our ramping's gonna draw me cards, so it's strictly better. We might not need the signet. I don't hate I don't hate cutting signet. a lot of 1-1 one, one counter shit. This is the way we draw the cards, draw the cards, draw the cards. This is the way we draw the cards. Do, 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 do. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands in play right now. Isn't Finale of Devastation better than Primal Command? Maybe. Whoa, chat, we gotta play this card too. How did we miss Zendikar's Royal? I need, I need Zendikar's Royal in my life. Now I have two cards I have to add to my deck. So we can play this for X is three. And then next turn we can kill the Royal. Oh, I could have castled. Good catch. The way they massacred my boys, chat. Uh oh. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This would be twelve. So I can't quite kill them with awakening this turn. I can start by casting this Nissa off of non forest though. And then we can Tiachova. So I have four, five, six. This land is seven. So I can play Beanstalk Giant after I untap with Nissa. You got her. She's dead.
Oh, I could use Hydra to grab Field of the Dead. Whoa, that's rude. Oh. Are they dead? They're dead to Sylvan Awakening plus into the Royal, right? No, come back! My lance are ready to attack a bone hack. back. Man. Shout out to our previous opponent who let us uh, deal lots of damage to them. Primal Command and Zendikar's Royal. What did we want to cut? We said we want to cut the Arcane Signet. Is that the Quandrix Prodigy? This card's probably fine. What else did I want to cut here? Bad two drops. Gretchen. But she blocks really well. You want to cut Tichwillow? I think I like Tichwillow better than Quandrix Prodigy. I think O4 is better than. Yeah, maybe it's just Goose. That's fair. Could be the Goose. Let's cut the Goose. <laughs> take our free mulligan with no ramp. We're going to take a non free mulligan too here. Listen to this, isn't terrible. We're cooking with gas. The city hath blessed us with lots of bugs, chat. Honestly, this game's probably over, right? We get to Hydra for Field of the Dead and then play this next turn, too. Ramp, ramp, ramp it up. Mm, yeah, they need they need a sweeper real bad. The question is, is their creature deck playing sweepers? Mmm, crippling fear. Yeah, it's definitely one that could be in their range. Swarm is here, chat. The swarm is here. Creepy, creepy crawlers. Thank you for the two thirds of a year, Urquan. I really appreciate that. Welcome back. We be swarming, yo. Niv Mizzet. How is my Mopey Ramp deck supposed to beat counter spells? That's not fair. Not fair, chat. Once upon a time, there was a.
Hopefully, once upon a time, there was a Lana War Elf. Rat, co rat colony is terrible. You're not wrong. Or not incorrect. I think this is going to be a spell this game. Sweet. And then next turn we can drop her and then immediately draw a card. Assuming they don't see it coming. Noise. Noise. I'll draw a spell with this. Or Tatova. She was so young, she had, she had so much to live for. I assume this Field of the Dead is going to be a concession since they missed a land drop. A bar Nova, thanks for the 20 months. Welcome back. I appreciate you keeping me around. Oh no! Don't send it back to my hand. I will say the fact that this deck, um, this deck gets to play so many mana sources and we never stumble is nice. Play, play more lands in your decks, chat. Even in your non, your non ramp decks, like you're gonna lose way more to stumbling than you will to flooding, and it's not close. We keep this. Should be doing something aggressive here. Keep it new, Rivulet. All right, so extra level can play more lands. Level three, a land you becomes a creature with power and toughness equal a number of lands you control. It's still land, sure. Uh, We've not played Grimgully. We played Heliod, uh, General Kudro, and this deck today. We'll be doing three or four more tomorrow as well. Okay, so we'll Cryptic Caves, gain a life, activate this to this level, do this, Abundant Harvest, honestly for non-land, I think.
being censored, chat. Damn liberals and their cancel culture. Well, maybe I should have played this first, huh? I think I'm just gonna end step bounce this. Since I didn't play Tietovo. Or we'll bounce that one. Man chat, Hydra's busted. It's so good. And by that I mean Field of the Dead's busted, but Hydra finds Field of the Dead. Hey, thanks, Sh Shredo Lord. I appreciate the two-thirds of fear. Welcome back. I'm gonna do this and just force some action on their part here. I just want to keep this back to keep making them monitor us. So we're up to 10 mana now. See so if they kill Tatiova, we can replay her again next turn, assuming we draw land. Well, we can play her without drawing a land, but we won't want to replay her if we don't draw a land. Every land is to life because of the druid class in Tatiova.
two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So we'll do this for X's, uh, X's eight. Did I miscount that? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, six, eight. Nine. Oh, I did. Oh, this is, this isn't a forest. Got it. In my head, that was the snow one. It was a different, it was a different land in my head. All right, firmly, firmly into garbage time here now. Now I want to play around like a Jawari disruption or another counter unless they pay one. This is the way we draw the cards, draw the cards, draw the cards. This is the way we draw the cards in the afternoon now. Gosh, Oracle Tiachova is kind of silly, huh? It's been a while since I've seen his ugly face on Arena. Ashaya? I don't know what Ashaya does. Oh, it's one that turns our creatures into lands. Upon further reflection, I do know what that card does. Wait, that kills the Hydra, right? Can't kill my Hydra, I love my Hydra. Just come after my Hydra like that, chat. Hey, I, I enjoyed the aggressive decks that we played, but doing doing big wacky things was also also pretty great. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find a split of things. I think we're gonna try another aggro deck or ag aggro deck tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna queue up a couple of other other go big style decks like this. This one, uh, I think this one was the most fun out of the the three different things that we played that we played today. Oh, Shia's non-token. You're correct, because otherwise she would combo with Scut Swarm, which makes her significantly worse. Yes, yeah, one. This one definitely made my inner Timmy happy for sure. So. Uh, if you missed it, we also we played three different Brawl decks today during the Arena segment. We played uh, General Kudro as well as uh, Heliod, which were both very reasonable, aggressively slanted decks. And then we did this for big rampy things. The historic Brawl queue is back permanently so long as people are using it. So if you're one of the many people like me that was harassing Wizards to give this to us, you should make sure to make a point to play it. Even if it's just a game or two a day, they're best of one. The games are often quick. Let's just make sure that queue is popping. I'm going to make sure 
that I'm playing Brawl at least one different deck every single day for this next week or so. We're probably going to do two plus decks per day so we can highlight a bunch of different things and play it play it even a little bit more than otherwise would. We're still going to mix in some regular historic and standard 22 as well, but I've been waiting for this. I had a lot of fun playing for the, you know, almost four hours that we played. We played it today and uh, we'll be back with more of it tomorrow. For the rest of the stream today, we're going to shift gears. We're going to be continuing